So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about these, which are the Elegoo sort of like carbon filters to help you printing if you're, I guess, in a more enclosed or a smaller space. So let's get on with it. I'll be covering off my thoughts of using these for the past couple of months and how they can probably help you out and some of the pros and cons about them. So one question I get asked a lot is, how do you print in like a small space and what sort of effect it's gonna have using a resin 3D printer in somewhere like an apartment or having it in your bedroom or, and in somewhere where you just don't have the space to have a, a separate room for your resin 3D printer. Now, my setup at the moment is basically I have my downstairs office with my 3D printer in it and the vast majority of the time I will print overnight, which means there are sometimes some odors that linger. Um, I've never been massively put off by it and the resin smell never really gets to me, but it's definitely there and actually, I was surprised to see how much of a difference this thing made. Now, obviously the ideal is you would be printing somewhere that you have a really well ventilated space. You'd have a separate space for your 3D printer, but obviously that's not always possible. And this is where this sort of thing comes in handy. And I guess it would even come in handy in somewhere which is the ideal space because it can really help to reduce those odors. So I picked these up because they were like less than 20 quid for a packet of two of them. And my expectations were extremely low because obviously, I mean, look at the size of it. It's a, a really tiny thing. Now how they work is it got a micro USB sort of a charge port on the side here it's got a battery inside of it so you get it charged up and then you press this little button here it pulls in the air runs it through the carbon filter inside of it and puts out fresh air instead which you know always a nice little thing put it inside of your resin 3d printer so it sits on the lip just behind the resin vat and then you can get these carbon blocks for it which i'm going to come on to because it's actually also one of the big big cons with these but it comes with two of these as well so you can replace them they're meant to last for about three months before you need to replace the carbon filters like I said, i've been using them for about two months and so far those carbon filters are still very effective now let's talk about battery life first so these things last quite a long time. They will definitely last pretty much any print length of time that you can be doing on a single 3D printer. And the great thing about that is because you've got a packet of two of them, you can literally leave one of them in there and then leave the other one on charge. And then when you finish with your print and you go to print your next thing, swap them out and put the next one in there and you basically have unlimited battery. You don't need to worry about these running out. However, when I have left just one going, I get at least 12 hours of charge on this. So it definitely lasts a very long time and gives me plenty of filtration for that. So you're probably wondering how much of a difference do these actually make. Now, like I said, I wasn't expecting much because it's a very small little unit. I didn't really think it'd have that much power and I figured I'd probably end up having to put both of them in there to make even the slightest bit of difference. But I'm really happy to say that literally with just one of these in there, it filters out all of that resin smell. Now, obviously this is going to be very much an opinion based review. There isn't any way that I can measure it, or at least I don't have the means to measure actually how effectively clear the air outside and in my room is when I'm using one of these. But from anecdotal evidence and from what I can smell, how I feel, I literally will never smell any resin at all when this thing is running inside of my 3D printer. Like I said, I've never been that bothered by the smells, but having used this, you can tell a massive difference. When you walk into that room after a 3D print is complete, you cannot smell anything at all until like you pop off the lid and then you get a, a little bit of odor. But for the most part, this thing basically eliminates all odors and I'm really, really impressed with these. If I run both of them, it, obviously it's a bit overkill in my opinion, I don't need to, but I guess if you have maybe something like this Saturn, I'm using a Mars 3 by the way, just so you've got an idea of what prints I'm using. But if you were using something bigger, maybe there'd be more fumes that you want to be catching so you could use both of them. Yeah, I guess it would really help to completely eliminate all odors. So it definitely does the job and it does the job very well and much better than I was expecting. Whether or not you should use them if you are in a small apartment or if you only have like a single room that you can have like your office in and your 3D printer, that's down to you and obviously down to you to do your own research. It definitely eliminates the smell, gets rid of a lot of those odors, pretty much all of the odors in fact. So from that point of view, these do a very good job. We'll see health benefits wise, it's something that I can't measure and tell you, yes, this will make your 3D printing space safe because I just don't know that. And it's down again for you to do your own research and ideally have a better setup where it can be ventilated. But from what I've found, using it in the single office where I will also work, obviously the next day after the 3D print is complete, there are no odors and I don't feel any sort of ill effects or anything like that. So that's one positive. If I turn into some kind of big giant block of resin in the future, you know that these didn't work. So I guess, yeah, take that as it is. So moving on to some of the bad things. And the first one is, these, so these little carbon filters. Now, it's a nice little design, but Elegoo don't sell them on their own, so you can't buy replacement filters, at least 
from Elgoo. So the idea is that you would literally have to buy a new one of these every single time. Now in terms of cost, that's not massive. I think they're like $16.99 at the moment on Amazon in some kind of lightning deal. They normally retail for less than 20 quid or $20 for a packet of two of them. So realistically, what, you get a replacement filter in there, so it'd be like six months worth of filtration for like 10 pounds or $10 each. Price-wise, it's not that bad. Environmentally wise, that's really crap because ultimately it's this plastic shell, you've got electronics in there as well, and ultimately they could supply these. And their excuse is they're too fragile to ship on their own. So you kind of think, well, why not sell a big block of them or a big pack of them? So really frustrating in that respect. I think Elegoo really kind of needs to get their act together and do something about this, because otherwise that's just creating a lot of waste like every six months. However, you can pick these up so I found a couple on Etsy when I've been looking around. So if you do some research in whichever area you live, I have found some different replacements that people have kind of crafted and put together, which apparently work, they've been getting good reviews. So worthwhile just having a look around. And also another tip is that apparently the, um, the like carbon filters that you can get for your aquarium, you can then cut those up in smaller pieces, basically match the size here, and they will do exactly the same job as this, which makes sense. Obviously you can get your carbon filters for aquariums, can also just this is the carbon filter so definitely want to try out once mine run out i'll give that a go because i also have an aquarium so i will uh, see how that works and i'll update the description just to let you guys know so that's the big con in my opinion this next one isn't a con it's just kind of a bit of advice <laughs> mine's got a, a bit of a dent there because i over time kind of as you knock it even though it's got this sort of like felt rubbery thing on the bottom it got not under the build plate but under where the motor kind of goes down on the Z axis, so we'll basically up and down, um, and it clipped it. Fortunately for me, it wasn't an issue. It basically kind of just clipped it and went, and went past it. However, I could just see that being a massive issue. If you're an idiot like me and careless, just be careful. Check where it is every time. I almost dropped it off the desk straight away there. Don't want to break your 3D printer using these, but it's not a pro, not a con, just something to be mindful of. So would I recommend these if you're in a small space? Well, yeah, if you're using a resin 3D printer full stop, I would recommend getting these or something like it. There's gonna be others on the market as well to try out. They did so much better than I expected them to. And just before anyone screams at me for health and safety, I've completely cleaned this one up so I can touch it with my bare hands and everything like that. And it's got a new filter in there, so shouldn't be leaking bits of resin. But this has done an incredible job. It's far exceeded my expectations. If you're in a small space, yes. If you're using 3D printed full stop, yes, just pick one of these up. It will take away some of those odors. And even if you're not bothered by it, maybe your other half is, your kids, or just it's something that you don't really notice because you've become accustomed to and you've become used to it, like I had. And using these, I wouldn't want to go back now to not having one of these. Again, like I said, I can't comment necessarily on the health and safety side of things. I don't know whether or not it's really going to make your safe spacer. In theory, it should. In reality, for 20 quid for two of these, I don't know. I guess, hopefully, it is making it safer. So hopefully that has answered a few questions as to whether or not this is going to help you if you're in a small space. It definitely makes it a lot more comfortable, it makes it smell so much nicer. So if you are in a small space, pick them up. You've not really got much to lose. And if you've already invested that much into your 3D printer, yeah, they are well and truly worthwhile going for. So let me know, have you been using these in the past? Do you use something similar? Do you use something maybe a bit bigger? So obviously you can get a lot of those air purifiers. What do you use for your 3D printer setup? And what tips do you have for other 3D printers who maybe only have the one room that they're working, maybe a small apartment? Anyone who has that dilemma, what tips do you have for them to keep it safe and to keep it smelling good? and all of that jazz let us know in the comments be really interested to know your feedback hope you've enjoyed that video if you have hit that like and subscribe button come along for some more awesome content in the future and hopefully i won't turn into a resin block by you know just breathing and getting bathed in resin all the time i don't really do that but i do drink it it's real tasty i also don't do that and i don't recommend you do it either you know health and safety and all that jazz now in the meantime stay safe i'll see you soon bye